So Nancy Pelosi went on the Jimmy Kimmel. And uh, this was uh, this was after the Robert Mueller uh, testimony. Now, if you watch the Robert Mueller testimony, you saw Robert Mueller uh, look like a doddering old man who uh, couldn't find, uh, didn't know the difference between his asshole and a hole in the ground, right? Is that the saying? Elbow in his ass? Oh, it doesn't matter. Um, <laughs> and it was also apparent he had very little knowledge of his own investigation. And if he, if he had as little now, uh, either he had little knowledge of his own investigation or he was lying constantly. Like when he said he didn't know who Fusion GPS was. <laughs> So it was a big, to, to put it mildly, the Mueller testimony for the, for the resistance, the Russia Gators, it was a dud. It was a huge dud, an embarrassment even. And, uh, of course, that's not how it was reported. Of course, that's not, that was how was it was reported here. It was reported here that way. Uh, and maybe, uh, uh, do you know of any other lefty media that reported on the Mueller correctly? I, I didn't see it. Um, I'm not saying it didn't happen. I'm just saying I didn't see it. Moyer Mate on on his new show now. I didn't see it, Ron. I'm saying I didn't fucking see oh. it. <laughs> 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 no. So if you uh, if yeah, you you have to really know where to find your media if you're gonna find the truth about what happened at the Mueller hearing. If you don't have time to watch it yourself, gavel to gavel. Um, you mean the whole something might happen to Trump someday at some point, and that, don't worry, we'll give you twenty four seven updates until then. Didn't do it for you. No, nope, that <laughs> wasn't. <laughs> you know, it's uh, the election's barely just a year away. You know, yeah. So just go ahead and why don't you guys go ahead and come up with a program? You know what? That, we're going to bring that up later in the show. So Nancy Pelosi goes on and let's, let's just listen. She she wants to talk about their Mueller hearing and listen to the. This is just nuts, from start to finish. Watch this. Now you know Nancy Pelosi didn't prosecute George Bush, a bona fide war criminal. Didn't bo- prosecute because she was the leader of the House and she said immediately impeachment's off the table. Why? Well, WikiLeaks revealed why impeachment was off the table. Impeachment was off the table because Nancy Pelosi was complicit in torture. And how was she complicit? They told her they were doing it, and she didn't do anything about it. They told her they were doing it, and she didn't warn anybody. She didn't call for an investigation. She didn't say, stop it, or I'm going to tell the press. She went along with it. And so she would have been implicated, which is why George Bush goes on Ellen today, and they do a dance together, and he gets to be a retired watercolor painter because she is complicit in a war crime who now leads the Democrats in the House. Some tw- Almost 20 years later. It's good. Woo, good change, huh? <sighs> so here's what she has to say. She goes on Jimmy Kimmel. Let me Kimmel. just say this immodestly. I probably have a better idea as to what the president has to be held accountable for. Because I am probably complicit in a lot of that same stuff. <laughs> 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 Um, so when pull, I just want to, and by the way, this is the resistance who caves into every one of Trump's demands. She just caved it. They caved in on DACA. They caved on his military budget. They gave him 80 billion extra. This guy who's supposed to be working for another country against ours. They give him 80 billion extra dollars. She goes along with his border bill, his border bill. She, no amendments, no, not just your they go along with his border bill, his DACA. They fast track his judges. They help him deregulate Wall Street. This is their resistance. And then they don't prosecute him. Than anyone. Have you read the Mueller report? Yes, I have. The only Even person, the blacked out parts? No. Oh, yeah, the only, right. We're, yeah. Not, we're calling for that. We want to, They would show it to me. But I said, why? I'm not going to let you show it to me unless you show it to the whole country. Oh. So what she's admitting there, Ron, is that she could have read the full report, but chose not to. The resistance, baby. She chose not to. Do you want to see all the... Trump's a traitor. Do you want to see all the findings? No. (laughs) No, it's good enough. I know he's a traitor. You don't want to see everything? No, I don't think that's... Just the cliff notes on his traitorism. (laughs) Give me the cliff notes, that's all. 
Okay, here we go. I would want to see it. Will they, the will they show it to me? See, Jimmy, Kib Jimmy Kibble smells bullshit. Yep. You see Jimmy Kimmel smelling bullshit right there? Jimmy Kimmel's like, really? He's like, I would want to see it. I'll, I'll, let me play it, because that's pretty interesting. Hey, Watch this. Watch Jimmy Kimmel. I, I love it when comedians... I I love it when comedians effortlessly call effortlessly do the jobs of journalists, right? A journalist yeah. would never say this to her. They, they would never push back like that. A journalist yeah, would never push like, back. Really? Because I'd want to see. It. Right. Watch. <laughs> watch Jimmy Kimmel push back here. Watch. Show it to me, unless you show it to the whole country. Oh, interesting. I would want to see it. Will they? Really? I would want to see it. Will they show it to me? Let me see it. I'll tell you what's in it. <laughs> Will they show it to me? The only person who knows better than I why this president is not above the law. Why wait, wait a minute. Let me back that up because just a minute. Well, the the only like, person. Did you hear what she says? So watch what she says. The only person. Knows better than I. The only person who knows better than I is probably someone who read the goddamn report. <laughs> <laughs> that would be someone who knows better than I. Why this president is not above the law why this president must be held accountable. The only person who knows better than I do is the president of the United States. Oh, and I bet his guilty conscience is going to get to him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy, his guilty conscience. I'm far worse than any follow-through I, as Speaker of the House, could do to him. <laughs> he has to live with his conscience, which is worse than impeachment. Do you want to say something? No? Okay. He knows. He knows what his violations have been. Yeah, I don't think he even knows. I don't think he... <laughs> well, he may not... <laughs> ...care, but I think he knows. Yeah, I think sometimes they do things and they go, oh, that's not allowed, and then they kind of go back and try to figure out what it was and how they can keep it quiet. Yeah, like, for that's a great point he made. Like, for example, uh, I'm sure Nancy Pelosi didn't know you're not supposed to become a hundred millionaire while you're in office. <laughs> <laughs> and you were just, if you were just serving the people, that's not supposed to happen. Oopsie. <laughs> yeah, and you know what really bugs me about that? Because when you see what they say, oh, I didn't know. I didn't know it was wrong to talk to Russians about this. I didn't know. I said, why don't, how, does, how do you explain that to kids in the hood? Oh, wow. That's what I think. What? I, when, when I hear people, I often think, well, how do you explain that to kids in the hood? And by kids in the hood, she doesn't mean the poor kids who put grape, pick grapes at her vineyards. She doesn't mean those poor kids. She means kids in, you know, because the kids in the hood, poor people, poor people of color who live in the hood, she means them. And their number one concern, Ron, you know, if you go to any poor neighborhood, they'll say Russiagate. <laughs> <laughs> that's what she's that's what why she don't means. you have health care russia, russia gate. gate why don't you have a great thriving public education in your neighborhood putin mm -hmm. the last time i heard someone use the term the hood uh i was standing in a blockbuster <laughs> <laughs> But uh, I, I got to say, uh, take it from Miss Nancy, uh, nobody, uh, Bush, Cheney, her donors, Condoleezza Rice, uh, Pelosi has more experience not holding criminals accountable than anybody else. <laughs> All right, let's go. Some more, she has more to say. In the hood. What are you going to tell the kids in the hood? She's, can you believe she said that, Gilbert? I mean, even you were like, what? <laughs> well, you know, Jimmy, I just do. I want to go back to the point that she was making. I can't believe somebody can stay there with a straight face. I didn't know I was taking a meeting, right? She just got done saying that she didn't want to know what was in the report. Yes. She just got done, she just saying, got done that. saying that. She didn't read it. I know. She didn't because they, I know. I know. I know. I wonder, does she care if the kids in the hood care about that statement? That's what I want to know. You know, you know, uh, the, the hood, as Nancy Pelosi likes to say, it, she's down with the kids in the hood. You know, the kids who will be dealing with climate disaster, endless student debt, endless ward and no health care. Those, you know, in the in the hood. <laughs> How are you going to explain socialism to kids in the hood, Nancy? That's why we don't have it, because she can't explain it to kids in the hood, I guess. <laughs> Anytime the Democratic Party wants to actually have a platform that would attract kids from the hood, 
Right? Like, she has no plot. She won't even turn and say right now, in the middle of this, she never seizes the opportunity to say what the Democrats stand for. Just what Trump doesn't stand for. She's against the Green New Deal because how are you going to explain that to kids in the hood? Am I right? Come on. (laughs) Come on. How are you going to explain that to them? Word up, fellow kids. (laughs) Did you know incrementalism is dope AF? (laughs) Oh, who let the dogs out, Ron? (laughs) The dogs of incrementalism. Last time Nancy Pelosi, last time Nancy Pelosi was in the hood, her chauffeur took a wrong turn. (laughs) Okay, uh, there's here. She has more. When they they're approached by law enforcement, and they said, "Well, I didn't realize that I was supposed to do this or that." We were supposed to know, but these. Let me just say this about when you know when a rich uh, when a rich oligarch like Nancy Pelosi talks about kids in the hood, an angel gets her wings amputated because she couldn't afford (laughs) health (laughs) care. That joke Does, takes a couple of turns. Yeah. <laughs> takes feel a couple sad for of that turns. little angel. Uh, okay, here we go. Very wealthy people with high-priced lawyers can get away with saying, I didn't know it right. was Right, that's why we need that. you to get in there and to take care of this and just get, do something with these guys. These guys. Okay. The crowd didn't start that applause. That was that was a producer saying, "Oh, we we should applause on this line because nobody wants Nancy Pelosi leading on anything." Do you? <laughs> no, Nancy Pelosi. She's gonna. When is she gonna hold Trump accountable? I guess after she does Conan. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so there's uh, that's the lead. That's your resistance. A joke, a a walking joke. They 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 can't even oppose Donald Trump. Come on. Donald Trump again, a political novice. He has no. He hasn't built up a, a politicians who owe him favors over his whole life as someone else who would become get to be president. He's the party isn't doesn't need to be loyal to him. The whole thing you can't oppose nothing. They got nothing. Three years, his approval ratings are higher than ever. After three years of your resistance, his approval ratings are higher. What does that tell you guys? Well, it says everything when you are considered the leader of a political party and a late night television host has to kind of explain to you what your job is. <laughs> yes. I mean, that that says a lot. Oh, Jimmy Kimmel would no doubt make a better speaker of the house than Nancy Absolutely. 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 Yeah. And, and I, th- I mean, he looks a little frustrated. Like, I don't think he, yes, when he I was agree. just like, I'd want to see it. Like, mm-hmm. he seemed annoyed. Because he wasn't buying that it. fluff answer. Really? The audience it. bought it because they applauded. Yes. When she was like, everyone should, like, they bought that bait, but he did not. I'm sure he was like, because I'm sure. So here's a theory. Nancy Pelosi knows Russiagate is bullshit. Jimmy Kimmel doesn't, like most of the people in the country. So he's like, well, I want to, fu- I want to, well, you don't want to read it? What do you mean? Mm-hmm. You know, we're going to find out. And she's like, I know it's, it's all bullshit. We made it up and Shake Shack and Robbie Mook and, uh, <laughs> you know, there's more evidence of the Clintons being, <laughs> being compromised by the Kremlin than there is Trump being compromised by the Kremlin. I mean, actual evidence. If he wins in 2020, our gravy train doesn't change. I know right? this. That's I, exactly I this. right. Yeah. Uh, then the hood. What are, how are you, you going to tell the kids in the hood? Our next live Jimmy Dore show is August 24th in Denver, Colorado. Then we're going to San Francisco, Seattle, Baltimore, and Honolulu for Christmas. Go to JimmyDoreComedy.com for a link for all tickets. And if you'd like to support the show, that's how we do this. Become a premium member or a Patreon or a Patreon patron. We give you hours of bonus material every week. Thanks for your support. (laughs) 